Mr. Cipollone. Thank you, Mr. Chief Justice, members of the Senate. We came here today to address the false case brought to you by the House managers. Sorry. We've been respectful of the Senate. We've made our arguments to you. And you don't deserve and we don't deserve what just happened. Mr. Nadler came up here and made false allegations against our team. He made false allegations against all of you. He accused you of a cover-up. He's been making false allegations against the president. The only one who should be embarrassed, Mr. Nadler, is you for the way you've addressed this body. This is the United States Senate. You're not in charge here. Now let me address the issue of Mr. Bolton. I've addressed it before. They don't tell you that they didn't bother to call Mr. Bolton themselves. They didn't subpoena him. Mr. Cooper wrote them a letter. He said very clearly, if the House chooses not to pursue through subpoena the testimony of Dr. Kupperman and Ambassador Bolton, let the record be clear. That is the House's decision. And they didn't pursue Ambassador Bolton, and they withdrew the subpoena to Mr. Kupperman. So for them to come here now and demand that before we even start the arguments, that they ask you to do something that they refuse to do for themselves and then accuse you of a cover-up when you don't do it. It's ridiculous. Talk about out-of-control government. Now let me read you a quote from Mr. Nadler, not so long ago. The effect of impeachment is to overturn the popular will of the voters. There must never be a narrowly voted impeachment or an impeachment supported by one of our major political parties and opposed by the other. Such an impeachment would produce divisiveness and bitterness in our politics for years to come and will call into question the very legitimacy of our politi political institutions. Well, you've just seen it for yourself. What happened, Mr. Nadler? What happened? The American people pay their salaries, and they're here to take away their vote. They're here to take away their voice. They've come here and they've attacked every institution of our government. They have attacked the president, the executive branch. They have attacked the judicial branch. They say they don't have time for courts. They have attacked the United States Senate repeatedly. It's about time we bring this power trip in for a landing. President Trump is a man of his word. He made promises to the American people and he delivered over and over and over again. And they come here and say, with no evidence, spending the day complaining that they can't make their case, attacking a resolution 
that had a hundred percent support in this body and some of the people here supported it at the time it's a farce and it should end mr nadler you owe an apology to the president of the united states and his family you owe an apology to the senate but most of all you owe an apology to the american people i yield the remainder of my time to mr sekulow mr chief justice members of the senate Chairman Nadler talked about treacherous. At about 12.10 a.m., January 22nd, the chairman of the Judiciary Committee at this body, on the floor of this Senate, said executive privilege and other nonsense. Now think about that for a moment. Executive privilege and other nonsense. Mr. Nadler, it is not nonsense. These are privileges recognized by the Supreme Court of the United States. And to shred the Constitution on the floor of the Senate, to serve what purpose? The Senate is not on trial. The Constitution doesn't allow what just took place. Look what we've dealt with for the last now 13 hours. And we hopefully are closing the proceedings, but not on a very high note. Only guilty people try to hide evidence. So I guess when President Obama instructed his attorney general to not give information, he was guilty of a crime. That's the way it works, Mr. Nadler? Is that the way you view the United States Constitution? Because that's not the way it was written. That is not the way it's interpreted. And there's not the way the American people should have to live. I'll tell you what's treacherous. Come to the floor of the Senate and say executive privilege and other nonsense. We owe the rest of our time. The managers have 27 minutes remaining. Okay, you've been listening in on the latest debate about a vote uh, on an amendment that comes from House Democratic leader. The